Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in Matplotlib that is a scatter plot. So this scatter plot is used to represent each and every point without any lines, right? So for example, this is the x axis and this is the y axis. So you can plot the points like this. Okay, there will be no lines. There will be no lines, right? So this is this is called a scatter plot. So this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Right? So along with the x-axis and y-axis, the points will be represented only without the lines. Without the lines. Right? So for this, we are going to use the scatter function. Scatter function. Right? And this can this should be called with the help of pi plot. The pi plot module. The pi plot dot scatter. Right? And here we need to give the x-axis and y-axis of the same length. Okay, so all the graphs, uh, the, this point is common for all the plots, right? Then just go with the pi plot dot scatter function, give the x axis and a y axis. So automatically we'll get the plot. And if you want to give the color for this particular plot, if you are representing only one plot, then the color will be, if it is one plot, the color will be blue. By default, the color will be blue. And if you plot the two plots, okay, pi plot dot scatter some x1 comma y1. So if you plot two different plots, then the second plot will be of the color orange. Orange. Okay. So this is the default, default colors. And if you want to specify the color, use the another attribute called color. Right. So scatter of the x axis y axis and give the color here represent the color in terms of a single character or give the full name or simply use the hexadecimal format so i will go with some red so that all the representation will be in, in color red and also we can change the marker this is a marker right so in the previous sessions we have discussed about the marker so this is a marker so this marker is of point okay by default it is a point now we can change the marker by using the marker attribute so give the marker attribute and give the representation of the marker if you give yes it will be square if you give o it will be circle if you give a star it will represent in a star and if you give cat symbol it will represent in a triangle so like this there are different markers we have already covered in the previous sessions right so i will i will just post the markers concept uh, link in the description section so that you can refer that one and here you have to represent the markers if i represent some square yes if i represent in a yes so then the representation will be in terms of squares all the squares so instead of point it will be represented in a square and also we can increase the size of the marker so for that use the s operator s operator is used to increase the size so here you, you use the size of the marker so that the marker size will be increased in the plot. Okay, so I will execute each and everything. So I will uh, I will let you know about these things by executing a small program. Right, don't worry about this. So after that, you can also change the line width. That means marker width. Okay, that can be done with the help of one more parameter called line width. So if you give here some width, so ten. The line width of the marker will be changed to 10. And there is a one more parameter called alpha. The one more parameter is a alpha, which gives the transparency of the color. Transparency of the color. So this alpha can be in between 0 to 1, any float number. Okay. In between 0 and 1, it can be any float number. For example, it is 0 0.5. So the transparency will be reduced. Okay, so this alpha can be float between 0 and 1. So if you give 0, that's completely transparency. You can't uh, be able to see this marker, right? So the marker will be invisible. 
and slowly if you keep on changing the value of this alpha so we'll get some sort of visibility okay if you give one automatically final complete visibility will be there so this alpha gives the transparency of the marker transparency of the marker so this is the small syntax for representing the drawing the scatter plot so we need to give the x axis and y axis and then we can represent the color of a uh, plot and also marker style so this is a marker so if you give yes it will be square it will be o it will be circle right so we can specify the marker style so which we require and we can change the size of the marker so size of the position representation will be increased or decreased and then the line width of the particular marker can be changed with the help of line width parameter and transparency can be done with the help of alpha so this is a syntax a simple syntax for drawing the scatter plot okay these are the attributes now we'll see uh, in the interpreter by executing and uh, drawing this scatter plot right let's move on to the system Hello friends, uh, just now we have seen the syntax for uh, scatter function in order to plot the scatter plot. So representing each and every point uh, with respect to x-axis and y-axis. So for that we need to import the matplotlib and uh, in that matplotlib we are going to import the pyplot module. So first import the pyplot module. So from matplotlib import pyplot so I'll also give the alias name so that all the methods will be called with the help of uh, PLT. So x, I will give them x with the values uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So these are the values and the equal length of y value should be given. So I will give the same thing. So x 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So I will shuffle this one so that uh, the graph, the scatter plot will be somewhat different so otherwise we will get a straight line okay otherwise I will get a straight line so I will shuffle the values of y so in order to shuffle that I will just import the random module so we know that random module in that random module we are having one method called shuffle the list so random dot shuffle of y right so automatically the values will be shuffled and now I will plot the scatter with a given x comma y and I will use the show method to display the output. So if I execute this one, we'll get the scatter plot for the required result, right? Given x coordinates and y coordinates. So I hope you understood this one, right? So uh, before uh, print, before uh, showing the scatter plot, before drawing the scatter plot, plot, just go with the x comma y so that we'll get an idea about the values x and y. Okay. And now, so you can observe here the values. 1 is with the 20 so in the 1 with along with the x axis the 20 is the point on y axis similarly 2 with 80 so 2 will be having some 80 so like this we can have the scatter plot and if you want to uh, represent the two plots so if you want to draw two different plots so use the same thing so i will use the same set of uh, statements once again okay this is the first plot and this is the second plot and again i am shuffling this one so i'll change the variables x1 and y1 and random shuffle of uh, y1 and we can have x1 and y1 so scatter the x1 and y1 so you can observe so this is the second second plot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 40 30 so you can observe there will be different color so by default the colors will be the first plot will be having the uh, blue color the scatter plots will be represented with a blue color and uh, another uh, graph the another scatter plots will be represented with a orange color so by default by default the colors will be blue and orange and if you want to represent in your own color so use uh, the parameter called color in the scatter function so so color is equal to you can use any other thing so i will use a black so this is for first one so for the second instead of giving the orange i will go with uh, color is equal to green okay and execute so that you can get it here see the representation of scatter plots will be in terms of green and black okay green and black you can observe here the one with the hundred 
so 1 with 100 so that gives the see 1 with 100 and the 2 with the 60 you can observe here 2 with the 60 for the first plot 2 with the 60 that's a black color you can observe here because 1 with 100 so in the both the plots we are having 1 with 100 so in the second one the first one second uh, values of x and y coordinates so x is 2 and y is 60 so x is 2 and y is 60 that's a black color so that's the first plot in the second plot uh, x axis 2 and y axis 30 so it will plot with a green color so that that's what we have given here so in the first scatter plot we have given as a black and another one we have given as a green and also there is a one more parameter called a marker so we can represent the scatters not only with the circles we can also use a, a different representations go with the attribute called markers right marker is equal to we know these markers i think we have already covered this markers concept in the previous sessions right so i will post uh, the link of these markers in the description section so that just go through the uh, different styles of these markers so i will go with the star i will go with the star uh, uh, so, sorry square so if i give yes it will represent in a square right the first scatter plot will be represented in square coming to the second one i will represent it in in the form of a triangle right triangle so just execute you can observe the first plot will be in the black and the second plot will be in the triangle okay and one more thing so uh, we can also increase the size of these markers so we have studied that one so here we can represent with a yes parameter yes right yes is equal to i will go with some 200 and here also i will uh, i will go with a yes is equal to some 150 okay just execute so you can observe here the size of the markers will also be modified okay so you you just observe so we have given some shuffle so every time we are executing we are getting a different plots okay don't get confused for that so here we are using the random dot shuffle so every time we are keep on uh, using this random module this random shuffle so every time we will get a new sort of list right for the y coordinates so y coordinates will be keep on changing so if you ex execute once again the plot will be different so you can observe so again the plot will be different right so this is the size we can also change the size of the marker and also we can use the width the line width so line width is equal to just give the line width i will give some 10 as a line width for the first one so if i if i execute you can observe so the line width is somewhat 10 right and here also you can in change the line width line width is equal to some 20 if you give 20 we will get a large representation right so hope you understood this one so marker size line width color all these things can be done and one more parameter there is uh, we can represent here is alpha so alpha represents the transparency that will be in between 0 and 1 okay so it will be a uh, floating point so if you give it the zero you can observe the value will not be represented right so it is zero that is completely transparency if you go with the point five a little bit transparency will be there you can observe a little bit transparency and this is a width okay so don't get confused this is a width and if you go with a nine some sort of transparency see you can change the transparency with the help of alpha with the help of the parameter alpha so sorry sorry the, the alpha parameter the value must be in between 0 and 1 see you can get it right so if you go with a line with uh, simply 1 so some sort of uh, representation will be there see so this is the representation so I have given 10 okay yeah you can observe here right the transparency of uh, second plot is 0.5 and the transparency of uh, first plot will be the 0.9 so you can feel the difference here you can feel the difference and if you go with the only 0.3 see some sort of transparency so that's why this alpha represents the transparency of the marker and line width it gives the width marker and uh, uh, yes is nothing but our size okay size in order to represent the size and marker is a uh, nothing but used to style give the style so instead of giving square if you give the star the representation will be in the form of a star 
and the color color attribute so these are all the basic parameters we can give in the scatter function in order to plot the scatter plot right so hope you understood this basic uh, scatter function the syntax of uh, scatter function so if you are having any doubts regarding this scatter plot uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section and definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much